Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be filming a collab today with Becky the Geek. We're going to be doing a tag together. I've challenged her to do this tag. It is the Sun Kiss Summer Tag. So yeah, we're going to jump right into this. I'll be linking her channel below. Make sure that you go and check out her videos. She makes really fun videos and I laugh every single time. Okay, first question. What is your go-to product for Sun Kiss Summer Glow? Bronzer, self tanner, etc. I've honestly stopped tanning over the years. I go with a more natural glow. I get pretty tan or turn like fairly red during the summertime pretty easily because I'm really fair skin. But occasionally um, I will do some bronzer. I have this um, Sublime Bronze by L'Oreal. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and sometimes I just like to put it on my legs, but I haven't even done that once yet this year. I used it just last year or so. We'll see. I'm usually just more of a natural go-to girl. Next question. What book would you recommend for a summer read? I'm really hard to read books in the summertime. Like, I am too all over the place, so I definitely recommend reading something light. Something that I've been skimming through lately is this Thailand handbook. Um, I recommend, like, if you're going to be doing any traveling in the upcoming summer or the year, like reading about where you're going is an awesome thing to do, you get really excited, and that's what I've been doing with Thailand, and I'm getting freaking excited. So yeah, I recommend just like, yeah, reading travel books, and if you're planning a vacation or you're going on a vacation, like helps you get really excited. What's your signature summer scent this year? I don't have one. I'm using a combination of a few different things. I'm using Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I'm using Happy and one other one that I can't remember right now. So not really a signature. I used Givenchy's Irresistible for like quite a few years, but I'm kind of moving away from that scent now. The sun is shining and it's time to get outside. What's your favorite thing to do? I really just enjoy going for walks during the summertime. I like to just walk and go by down by the water, anywhere by like a river or an ocean. Um, I'm not a huge beach person. Definitely more like city walker. Yeah. <laughs> you are on the boardwalk and your stomach's grumbling. What's your go-to summer beach food? If any of you have been watching my vlog, you know that I am popcorn obsessed. Popcorn is my thing. It's light, it's filling, it's just my go-to snack during the summertime. Doesn't make me feel too like hot. Um, I used to be like crazy ice cream girl, but I stopped having ice cream back in April, so no ice cream for me this summer. Sunscreen is always important, but it's a must in summer. What's your favorite, face, body, or both? Um, I like to use products for my face, for either in my cosmetics or in my um, moisturizers that have SPF. But for my body, I just this one I have right now is has shimmer in it. It's not a very strong SPF, but that's okay because I just put it on if I need two more than one scent. It has little shimmer in it, and I really like that. It makes me feel pretty. After a day in the summer sun and heat, what do you do to cool off? Go in those kid water parks at the playground. We have a few of them locally around here. And the kids love to splash and play just sprinklers. And I will just get right in there with those kids and I will run through those sprinklers. It is the most refreshing thing ever. That water is so cold. How do you wear your hair in the summer? Down, ponytail, ombre, dip dye, etc. Well, when I'm filming these kind of videos, usually you guys see me with my hair down because I do love wearing my hair down, but in the summertime, honestly, it is 98% of the time up in a bun, twisted around something funky like this. Um, I do dye my hair. I usually get chunks of purple streaks, and right now it's almost all faded out because it's time to redo. Um, and that's not just a summer thing, that's how I love my hair. But yeah, uh, it's usually always up. Must have nail polish to in this summer. Um, my nails have been bare for the last few videos. I, If I do paint them or get them done, it's definitely a lighter color. I love like light pinks um, or even like a nude. I like those kind of colors. Um, but I've been going bare on my toes and my nails this summer so far. Sometimes it feels good to chill out and watch Netflix. What show slash movies do you recommend for summer? 
I heard that True Detective Season 2 just started. I'm so excited about that, so I'll be watching that this summer. Um, right now I'm watching Orange is the New Black, and I'm trying really hard to take it slowly, and I have been so far, because a lot of my friends have already finished the entire season, and I'm only on episode 4 or 5, so yeah. And then, not even just in the summer, but all year long, I watch old episodes of ER don't know why but that's what I do and there's like a bajillion seasons of it so I'll be doing that for a long long time so do you wear liquid foundation BB cream or tinted moisturizer in the summer all of the above not at once okay I should explain that when I'm wearing tinted moisturizer or on days when I don't actually want to wear foundation or makeup I'll just wear tinted moisturizer and on days when I'm doing my full makeup I wear foundation it's super bright outside. You reach for sunglasses or hats. Sunglasses. Hats make me sweaty. What is your summer jam this year? Hmm. Right now I've been listening to a lot to Florence and the Machine and some Taylor Swift and yeah, not too much tunes. I don't get a chance to listen to music very often and it's very sad because I love listening to music. Uh, do you have a summer bucket list? If so, share some things on the list. Um, yes, I definitely do want to spend more time down at the Urban Beach. You've seen me have it in some of my vlogs. It's a local thing here. And I definitely want to take my son and just enjoy some time there with friends too. And I definitely will be going to something that we have here called the Pacific National Exhibition. It has rides and fair. It's a huge fair with lots of rides and like carnival games and all that stuff. So that's a lot of fun to go see. I'll be going to watch fireworks for sure, probably more than once. And that's probably it for now. I have a much larger list, but we don't have time for that. Do bikini, tankini, or one piece? Show us your favorite suit this year. So I have one suit. I've been wearing the same suit since last year. And that's, I don't go swimming honestly that much. So I tend to not buy a lot of bathing suits, but I'm definitely buying one before I go for Thailand because I want one that's more, like this is fairly conservative, but I want one that's even more conservative because that's kind of how they are in Thailand. But it's a tankini, so this is the top. And then I love this bottom. I'll probably get a very similar bottom again, but it's the little like skirt. Um, but it like, it covers your butt though. There's the like, bottom, <laughs> sorry. Um, Summer means heat and sweat. What's your favorite sweat proof product this year? Okay, so I admit, honestly, I, I sweat and I very much so dislike it. Ever since I had a, my baby, like I, I don't know, some hormones, I sweat more than I used to. And I have not found anything that is sweat proof. But something that I do use that is helpful that I have made, uh, you've seen in my other videos, is the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. It's just really refreshing. Like at the end of the day, like you guys have seen, I've been walking like seven miles a day so when I come back even in the evening you know I'm hot and just to like ch -ch -ch over it's like oh just really refreshing to cool off summer wouldn't be complete without a scoop or two of ice cream if you could create your own ice cream flavor what would it be so you just heard me talking about that I'm not having ice cream anymore and I'm kind of sad about it but at the same time like it's a good it's a good positive healthy decision for me so there's so many ice cream flavors out there now, like I have, find it like really hard to like even be original, so, but this is like my all time favorite flavor, it's not original, but it's peanut butter, banana, and chocolate. Yes! Amen! Peanut butter, banana, and chocolate, <laughs> and anything is my favorite, but ice cream, yes, yes, so good. Anyways, that's the end of this tag, so make sure you check out Becky's tag, I'm gonna put the link in the thingy below you know and yeah make sure you check out her channel and subscribe she is awesome give this video a thumbs up for more collabs and more tags and I'll see you guys next time